Hello everybody, I'm Mark and today I'm going to be talking about the cards that I currently have in my wallet. So for anyone new to the channel, this channel focuses mainly around making money online so that you can live the life that you want to live. And although credit cards don't necessarily make you money, they do have a lot of benefits such as helping you travel for cheaper by giving you free airline miles or by giving you cash back so that you can optimize your spending. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about uh, the cards that I currently have and then the benefits and whatever else. And hopefully by the end of this video, uh, you're going to look through your cards and just kind of see like, hey, maybe this could use some improvements. So starting off, I have my USAA Cashback Reward Plus card. Uh, this is the card that I just recently got in the mail today actually um, i applied for it a week ago and i was approved right away uh, what this card actually lets you do is it has five percent cash back on gas two percent on groceries and one percent everywhere else uh, this is currently my third card and it's actually the best card that i have right now i don't have any like travel cards yet so i'm still on the fence about that since i don't travel next off we have the preferred cash rewards card uh, this was my first real credit card that I had. Uh, before this, I did have a credit card where you had to have a deposit on it, which was, for me, it was about $500. Uh, yeah, it was a super small credit limit, and there were no benefits to it. And uh, this was the first, you know, quote-unquote real card where I got any benefits. Uh, this card has 1.5% cash back on everything, which is it's okay. Next off, we have my debit card. Woo! Uh, nothing special here. I just always uh, have my debit card in case, you know, for some reason the place only takes credit or in case I need to withdraw money and I don't want to, you, you know, use a cash advance on my credit cards because that's not, that's a no-no. Uh, next off we have, uh, this isn't a credit card. Everything else is in credit cards, but uh, I do have my school ID. So I do go to UTSA for anyone interested. And then on there, you can also see that I have a little via sticker uh this is for me to be able to just go ahead and ride the bus so what i do is i go ahead and drive to a park and ride and at the park and ride i can actually just park my car and there's a bus that will take you a straight shot to the school which is really great it does take a little bit of time but it does save me money on gas and also it's a lot less stressful than driving in san antonio traffic because I don't know if any of you guys have driven in rush hour traffic, but that is the most stressful stuff ever. And then also, I have extra time to study on the bus, which is really nice. Uh, next off, we have my uh, HEB Perks card. Uh, this is a local grocery chain that is in Texas, and I do actually work for them. I'm actually about to hit my four-year mark there, which is pretty cool. Uh, this card actually lets you have 10% off on all the store brand stuff. Uh, so always look into employer benefits. I, I just work part-time, so there's not like any crazy benefits, but 10% off, that's pretty damn good. Uh, next off, we have um, <laughs> my library card. Uh, you know what they say about library cards. Uh, fun isn't far if you have your library card. But um, yeah, I mainly have this because it's a lot cheaper to just go ahead and basically rent out books instead of you know buy all of them outright, especially if you want to have like the hardback nice books uh, like I want. Uh, it definitely is a lot cheaper. And then also, uh, not this specifically, but I always carry whatever extra cards that I have. Um, if I have like any gift cards to McDonald's or Chick-fil-A or anything like that, I always like to keep that on my wallet just in case like I just happen to be in the neighborhood of a, you know, of a place that I need to actually spend money at. I can go ahead and just spend it there and get rid of the card. So that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I hope you liked it. And just some general advice uh, for those of you who are interested in credit cards. Uh, I definitely recommend looking into them. As you're starting out, you're not going to get very many benefits, but you know, it's the idea at the beginning is just to build credit. And definitely always make sure to pay in full every month. There is no reason to even bother with cash back or miles if you're not able to pay in the card in full every month. So just stay within your means and you'll be fine. So anyway, that's it. If you liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next video.